Hi, I'm Paul Foxcroft, and you're watching Questing Time. This is episode 10, part one of our 2020 live streams. Now, last episode, we didn't have uh, Rufus. We didn't have Rufus Hound at all because of a technical glitch at the last minute. So, uh, part one is just all Rufus all the time. Uh, where we're coming from is the cliffhanger episode from a couple of sessions past. Uh, all the parties hanging off the edge of a cliff, with Rufus being the only one on top of the cliff holding everybody up. Uh, now, they he does lose his grip. He is violently sick on the people who've fallen off the cliff. And this is what happens to Rufus while the rest of the players were going through the cave. Uh, so enjoy. So this will be, we'll just do a little focus on Ruff for a few minutes and we'll see what we get to. Um, you three know what happened. Um, Rufus. Uh, yes. Yeah, there you are. The The goose has just flown off into the yeah. middle distance. Um, it's honking a lot behind you. Um, you are clutching Philin's hand uh, and looking down as the, 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 how, the wind howls and you see the, the shattered remnants of the cage beneath the rest of the team on the floor. Um, and then it, you become very aware that the half... There's a, that I would get, I'm, there's a good, like... 30 seconds of quite aggressive bickering and shifting of, shifting of weights that achieves nothing, including people trying to get things... People with no free hands trying to get things out of their pockets. Um, when, <laughs> sure enough, the greased-up halfling, uh, his hand is too greasy, and you lose your grip. The three of them fall. Um, the halfling fires starts firing firebolts at the ground in an attempt to slow his fall. <laughs> um, I believe the the, bride, ri, br, the, the the bard grabs onto the cleric who shoots a jet of a geyser like jet of water out um, uh, all over the place trying to slow his fall if memory serves uh, Phil and, and Claire were injured but sort of okay but the cleric gets impaled on one of the spikes one of the bars of the cage and dies briefly or at least starts dying until they start healing him I think at this point you vomited uh, <laughs> now, meanwhile, now as you're looking down there, trying to pick yourself up because obviously you are spiked into the ground, uh, yeah. you become con you become very conscious, uh, Rufus, of something is tugging at your ankle quite strongly and dragging you back through the, like back along the cliff edge. You're leaving sort of wily e. coyote like furrows in the yeah. uh, in the so in the rock and soil, uh, and as you twist round, you see. A um, large, sort of like ten foot long, uh, dark green lizard creature um, has its, I guess, beak clamped around your ankle. It's not biting per se, but it's dragging you away uh, back into the um, the underbrush. If you're watching in the chat, yeah, the other one. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> um... Let me just call up the right encounter here on my uh, my D and D Beyond. Um, would you like? Are you are you going to chill with this or? Yeah, it's um, it's a green lizardy thing. Okay. Um, do I? In fact, Ruff, by looking at it, yeah. If I, can I roll for like intelligence or animal wisdom or anything like that to know how big of a threat this thing is? Um, yes, you certainly may make an animal ken. Well, animal Ken? Animal handling check. Animal Ken is what they call it in the White Wolf 2nd Edition books. It's been a week, folks. Uh, 14. Yeah, it's a threat. Uh, this is a guard drake. Um, they're a thing. They're okay. a thing. They're a threat. This is a bad thing to have happened. Can you also make a perception check, please? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's not good. <laughs> <clears throat> what is it? <laughs> Uh, oh, do I want to do anything? No, eight. Eight? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm afraid you don't spot anything out of the ordinary. I mean, other than there's a massive God. lizard dragging you away. Yeah. You can also just, on the over the wind, just hear what, a, like, a considerable amount of bickering from further down the the hillside, including, like, why didn't you heal him? Why didn't you heal him after we took him off the spike? Um, <laughs> <coughs> um, it's an excellent question. 
Right, yeah, that was um, a genuine, a genuine question from last session. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're being dragged into the up. So you know you've come down. You, basically, Claire has sort of cleared a bit of a path in the woodland, coming down this hill in a cage. Um, this thing is dragging you off into the underbrush onto one side. Into there's like a, it's quite, um, I can't think of the right word. Aggressively uneven ground, even even the furrow that Claire's made in the cage. Um, but there's, there's, it's, it's uneven. It's dragging you into what I guess I would describe as a dell. Very good. Um, Not a dell, being... the singer. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dell's a lot smaller than it used to be, and everyone, it's all they can fucking talk about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I. Well, I mean, you know, I'm going to try and kill this thing, but um, if I'm being dragged face down oh no i'm assuming yeah. you've what you've managed to, uh, i'm assuming you've managed to flip over onto your back okay if i can um, flip over onto my back i will uh draw my um axe fair um i'm just you... wondering whether do you reckon i can make a maybe an athletics check to see whether i can kick this thing in the face with my leg i missed the last bit of that i'm so sorry um, I want to kick it in the face so that I can get get it to let go of my leg. Yeah, so it's effectively. Oh fuck! It's I've done grappling. Uh, um, it's effectively grappling you, you. So yeah, it would be a. I think it is an athletics check. To um, I'm going to have to look up the grappling rules again because I can't learn them. Um, if memory serves, I think it might be. Uh, why am I using grappling? I could have done so many other things, and yet I've done this. <laughs> um, here we are. Right, you can use. Uh, oh, why is that reloading now? Uh, <laughs> stay on one page. Um, why, am I, why is it showing me movement? Uh, right, escaping a grapple. You can use your action to escape. If so, thank you for following. Um, uh, you must succeed on a strength, athletics, or dexterity, acrobatics check contested by the grappler's athletics check. So we make a contested roll. And then I'll, let's roll initiative now so it's been done. Okay. Uh, 16. Lovely stuff. Uh, oh, you're doing... Then you, you're doing... Well, I need a sheet of paper, and you are paper. Actually, I've sorry, done this I thing get... where I've re reorganised A, my desk, and my laptop's filing system this week, so I don't know where a thing in my life is. <laughs> You were um, saying, Rufus. Yeah, I've got a plus one on initiative. Uh, you also you also roll it with um, you roll initiative with advantage because of your uh, weapon of warning. Oh, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, who's the play doc? Gifting gifting subs out. Hey, making it rain. Making it rain. Um, I'll never do that again. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Uh, wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, Drake is on fourteen. Lovely stuff. Um, in which case, uh, you can use your action to attempt an escape. Okay, uh, I'd like so to attempt an escape, please. <laughs> by kicking it in the face. Acrobatics or dexterity? Uh, acrobatics uh, or athletics? Uh, Thanks for the new follows! Athletics. Do it, Doug. Um, I'd, can I use my inspiration to re-roll? Uh, for the purposes of this stream, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Su suicidal Muppet. Lovely joke. 21. 21? Great. Uh, that thoroughly beats my 13. <laughs> so yeah, what happens is you kick it with your free... You kick it in the face with your free foot. Yeah. Wrench your... Um, wrench your, your right foot out of its mouth. And yeah. scoot, you managed to scoot backwards a couple of feet. Um, it then gets. Hang on. Thanks for all these subs, friends. I, I would, I, I'm oh. saying this principally because it's impossible to not notice. They're so loud in my headphones. Um, can I? Thanks, um, friends. Can I then jump? Where? Up a tree. Um, you're. I would say not this. T you're prone. So you okay, could use, fine. I think it's half your move action to stand up. You could probably get to a tree. You get some distance between. I mean, um, I'll put as much distance between. Wow. Us as... Sorry, like eight people just subscribed simultaneously, or at least the sound effect just played over and over again in my headphones. There. Thanks, everyone. Um, ring a ding ding. 
<laughs> Thank you, Newt Newt. Hey, Newt Newt's back. Newt Newt's been away for a couple of weeks. Um, but um, yeah, I'll let you. you can, I'll say you can get. You can spend your action getting some distance between you and this thing. Lovely. So you're kind of like backed up against the tree, but you're on your feet. Yeah. Um, uh, at which point this thing is going to try and take a swing at you. Um, so it kind of it launches itself forward and yeah. tries to tries to grasp grab you with its jaws. It snaps just short of your face, a la alien. But then its tail whips around and smacks you um, across the face and neck um, for a meager four damage. Um, uh, thank you for all the gifted subs, guys. It is a treat to see that going on. Um, if you were, if you've had a gifted sub and you're able, pay it forward. And if you can't, that's fine. Um, cool. So that happens. This thing just sort of whips around and is trying to very much. Uh, de what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Decapitate. No, it's not. It looks like it's trying to knock, either knock you out or just incapacitate you. It, it, you get a sort of, it wants to drag you back somewhere vibe right, got you. from it. Capitate. Then that's a thing. Cool, oh, that has happened. Uh, and now it is your turn. Um, you are in, effectively in combat with this with this Drake. Yeah. Um, make Canadian rap jokes, if you would like. Um... Excellent! <laughs> right. Look at you guys paying it forwards. Thanks, team. Okay. Who's it gonna be, Rufus? In fact, you know what? During this brief interlude, as you are isolated from your, um, uh, as you are isolated from your your support network, I'm gonna briefly Excellent. let you let Rick, let Rough Knight imagine um, the voices. Well, just to sing you know, those you know, montage sequences in films where you just see like a floating head of a friend pass by, and it says <laughs> one one piece of advice in the voice of that character. But here's the thing, uh, Matt, Richard, and it says uh, you could, you're, you're, Rufus just, so Rough Knight imagines your characters floating past giving him a piece of advice, but it's not the voice of your characters, it's the voice of what he thinks your character would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, fill in? Well, Mr. Rough. These new gold pantaloons feel like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> just completely useless advice. That's just an opinion. That's um, what you'd imagine my character to say. That's true. Uh, Rich? You're right. It is pronounced Hardcastle. <laughs> 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 and bro why don't you try and hug it blah blah puppies blah blah nice <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all nothing at all <laughs> blah blah nice <laughs> Um, oh, castle, castle, castle. <laughs> pantaloons, <laughs> pantaloons, pantaloons, castle, castle. Nice, nice. Um, um, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. At some point in the next like two levels, you people are going to Pantaloons Castle. Um, <laughs> um, oh, somebody's just donated. Someone's just donated, and that person I think is Kaz, who I used to work with at the Virgin Megastore. Thanks, Kaz. I owe you a reply. I'm sorry. I'll get there. Um, and thanks, people are cheering because everyone's being goons. Hooray! And thanks to the Virgin <laughs> Megastore for your yeah. deals. So, Rufus, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Um, I would. I'm going to launch myself at its neck, holding my uh, axe. <clears throat> I'm reasonable. basically going to try and grapple its neck in my spiked armor because I've. I think. I need to keep out the way of its tail, by the look of things. Yeah. So if I'm on, if I'm physically clinging on to it and holding on, then uh, that seems like probably the best thing to do. So I basically in the in the story in the montage, uh, I hear pantaloon, 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 hardcastle, 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 hug it, hug it, hug it, and then <laughs> it does that like whip through the like contra zoom, Hitchcockian contra zoom yeah. through the mist into my eyes and I just hear hug it 
and then my brow furrows <laughs> and then it zooms right out and then you just see me launching myself at ready to hug this thing's neck sure thing i like in that in that wide there is also like a pair of pantaloons blowing past in the wind. <laughs> um, yeah. So sure, make an attack roll for me, please. Okay. And thank you for the donations. Uh, now, Paul, I've rolled, yes. and I'm Hello. very unhappy with it, and I'm just wondering if there's anything else I can do before accepting that that's what's happened. Um, um, give me what one second. Something awful. Is it Doesn't a natural one? It's not a natural me. one, but it's only too different from being a natural one. Fair enough. Can they um, imagine me do bardic inspiration, only real me? Uh, oh, you're not present, so no, I'm afraid this is a little solo adventure for Ruff. Um, right, <laughs> okay. <hang laughs> you've, already burned, you've already burned through your inspiration, haven't you? Yes. Uh, oh, no. it's, it's also that I meant to say I rage as well, which was uh, annoying, because I forgot to say that. That's right. It's a bonus action. I'll let you throw that into the mix. Yeah, um, but... Um, yeah, fine. Okay, well, look. It's here's the thing. Fail, if it? somebody in the chat follows or subs now, I'll let him have a reroll. <laughs> Except we're working on a slight delay, aren't we? So it's going to be a yep. full minute before we can Ten, see whether... Nine. Eight. <laughs> seven. Six, and five, four, three, two. Oh, yes, holy shit! The plague doc fourteen at the last conceivable second, Rufus, <laughs> has just actually a shit ton of gifted subs just happened. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Um, Excellent. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, we're not. This is not going to be a rule, people. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird joke. Okay. All right. Everyone's just piled in. Uh, I assume, like, somebody would just follow rather than sub. What the fuck is happening? So many fucking subs. That feels now a bit like I've tricked you. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> all right. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The stream. Um, uh, as a result, he gets one. We'll, we'll give... Stop. Stop it. We'll give um, everyone everyone playing one bonus reroll tonight because of the wave of subs you guys just did to keep these characters alive. Um, everyone gets a backup reroll because um, uh, please stop giving me money for this reason. Um, but um, seriously, my therapist and I have talked, and the idea of you guys subbing to this stream is a challenge for my perception of my self-image. It, it, it's 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 genuinely unsettling, and I've had to talk to a professional about it. It's obviously very nice. Thank you so much. My relationship with my parents is quite bad. Um, so, <laughs> Rufus, having some you have breakthroughs. Keep lot, subbing. You, uh, <laughs> keep subbing. It's, it's, no, it's it's very nice, but honestly, if it happens like rapidly, it it, I, it, 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 it genuinely is hard to process. Um, thank you so much. It means a lot, and that's sometimes not manageable. Um, is this why you've never applied to go on Love Island, Paul? Because this is exactly the so kind many of reasons. this is exactly the kind of psychological trauma that we're seeing from the, uh, the young men and women who find themselves on the television piece. Yeah, um, it is. It is. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is my relationship. But um, <laughs> God, it's, you're so Not legalistic. No wonder reasons. you love Dungeons um, and Dragons so much with its rerolls. <laughs> Reroll your dice. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. I do <laughs> genuinely. That is what the, the, my therapist and I have talked about this. I like D and D because the perceivable rules were as growing up. But that wasn't a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, this time I just hit a 21. A rough 21. A pew, 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 pew. Yeah, boy. Um, lovely stuff. At which point now, were you hitting it with the axe and then yes. doing a sort of post haste grapple? Okay, m roll your axe damage, friendo. Yes, I will. Let me just check. I'm sure it's 2d8, but it's not written where I thought it was. It is It is 100% not 2d8. <laughs> uh, there, are no, there are no 2d8 weapons in the game. Okay, um, not that It's 1d8. 2d8, that's... It's 1d8 plus 5. 1600. 1d8 plus 5. Lovely. Yes. Um, plus, um... Oh, no, that's everything. Because you're, ra you're raging, kind of like, that's within the plus 5. My friend, I just hit 8. Sweet Jeebus. Is that max? Uh, yeah, that's max damage. Max damage and plus five is uh, 13. 12. 13, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just, yeah. I, I got a bit 13. excited. The devil's... Lost the ability to add up single-digit numbers. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah. Lovely stuff. Okay, so you bring, you leap forwards, just quite for some reason. You, the reason you can't quite understand, you're like, pantaloons! I bring your axe <laughs> down on this thing's head, and you beat 20, so I'll let you also get it in sort of a headlock. Uh, so you've got your axe there, and you're whacking it with the axe as you go. The thing is flailing around. You're trying to maintain it. It's now going to try and break your grapple. Uh, oh, hang it's... on. Yes? Um, you say I was successful in the grapple. Yes, you do extra damage because of your uh, armour. I get 1d4 piercing damage. <laughs> yeah. Which is 2. 2. Lovely stuff. That's down. So, great. Um, at which point, uh, this thing is going to try and break your grapple. Can you make a athletics check? Uh, yeah. just compare the two. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Did you say athletics? I did. 24. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it doesn't get that. <laughs> it does not get that <laughs> by, by a country mile. Um, so it is now... Um, yeah, you can you can now carry or drag it, but your speed is halved, um, if you want. Um, that's its turn. It's used its whole action to do that. Um, How then... far away am I from the edge of the cliff? About 50, maybe. Because it's dragged you a fair, a little bit of a way. Um, I'll say 50, 60 feet. Uh... Um, but there's underbrush, like it's difficult terrain. However, yeah. um, what then happens is a shadow with a sort of Loud, loud bass Arr! a shadow launches out of the underbrush uh, and also attacks you and this drake um, make a hmm, no, no we don't um, what you're seeing is a sort of large panther like beast but okay. with three sets of legs and whipping tentacles flailing around its shoulders um Great sure, news. Classic. That's legs. That's Not great another news. one. One of these Gosh. tentacles whips past your face and misses, but the other one slams into this um, uh, the drake. Um, oh, wow. And does bad times. Um, oh, it's two kinds of damage. Holy shit. Oh, good. There's 12 damage to it. Uh, um, lovely stuff. It is now... Excellent! Thank you for the subs. Uh, it's now your turn, as you are now facing off against a drake and a displaced beast. Okay. Um, <coughs> well, I've got hold of the drake still, haven't I? Yes. Right, well, I'm just going to keep trying to kill that. Fair. Um, all right, off you go. Ooh, 22. That's a hit. Please roll your damage. And you're still grappling it, so you get your extra d4 on top of it. Yep. <laughs> a lot of the chat is saying, call for backup. <laughs> um, okay, now. I might use my savage attack. Feel, re feel free. Feel free. Okay, so I get to um, re-roll one of my, um, dam my damage die. Yes, you do. It, it was a three. I get to choose whether I keep that three or take... <laughs> Three. <laughs> so, uh, total of six damage. Uh, eight. You're adding an extra two to it because you're raging. Oh, yeah, shit. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Benevolent DM. And an extra D4, please? No, that was with the extra D4. Oh. Um... Hang on, what did you roll on the die? So I rolled three damage. On the D4 or the D8? On the D8. Yep. And then to which, three on to the which you're adding. Yes, yeah, so that's six. To which you're then adding. Three. Uh, five. Yes, so it was three, and then I add two because I'm raging. Is that right? Yep. So this, uh... to me, sounds like it's a total of 11. It's three Is plus it... two plus three plus three. He says, doing a Tim Curry impression. Oh, I see, because what? Because the, the bonus on the rage. adds two to the, the damage of the attacks. But I get that twice. No. So it's... You roll the three. Your standard yes. addition is three. Yes, that's right. Extra two to that. And Five. a d4 on which you rolled three. So it's three on the die. Three yep. for your strength bonus. Two for your rage bonus, which is now eight. And three for your armor. Eleven. 
Okay. <laughs> Trust and believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, it, it's more than I thought it was, so I'm going to just say yes. That's right. <laughs> Come on, stop. Okay. Next week, um, math GCSE. Okay. Um, so then you, yeah, you you smack into this thing. You you've cut a massive gash in its neck. The horrible sort of black, stinking blood is pumping out all over you. Um, this thing is going to try and slap the displacer beast with its. Oh, that's a twenty. Uh, that it's hit the displacer beast. And it's also bitten you. Uh, it's not even going to bother trying getting out of the uh, the graphic. Um, Suicidal Muppet. Yes, the best film. Flames. Um, flames burning inside of my face. Um, which is... Let's blow, roll the damage for the Displacer Beast. Now, if you're new to the stream, we just do Brutal Criticals because it's quicker and easier. And that is Brutal. Um... Oh, Timber I need to re-roll that because I'm making these. No, it's still a hit. Um, okay, so this thing smacks its tail into the displacer beast, causing it to sort of scree squeal this high-pitched, ragged, like sort of nails on a chalkboard throat throat noise. It's a horrible sound. It's a half scream, half scream, half hiss. Um, and then uh, this thing does a bite on you for. Uh, that could be worse. Uh, how are you doing hit points wise? Uh, <laughs> I am on 30. I disagree. Um, drop, lose 10. Oh no, it's piercing damage. So it's 10 damage, but you only take half of that because you're raging. That's right. Uh, so 5 damage to you, sir. As, okay. Um, yeah, it, it clamps onto your free hand. So the hand you've got grabbing it around the neck, it's right now kind of gnawing on your wrist there. Um, Fine. Uh, so yeah, that. That is happening. Um, then it is the Displacer Beast's turn. It's going to focus, because it's been injured now, it's going to focus both of its attacks on the Drake. Um, one hits, and one goes wide. Okay, so the Drake has taken another stinging attack by this thing's tentacle, and it's got one of its te shoulder tentacles wrapped around its midriff now. Um, it is now uh, your turn, friendo. As these these two, so you're so I want to just paint the picture here real quick. So you're you're at the front, facing the facing the front of this sort of little bijou dragon. Uh, you've got your arm locked around its neck. Your spikes are digging into its flesh. You've cut a big gash in its neck, and arterial blood is spurting out. Yeah. You have a, a your axe in your right hand. Ad break in about half an hour. Um, the chat. Uh, you've got your axe in your right hand. You're wrestling this thing around. Behind you, this tentacled panther has also wrapped its tentacles around the middle of this thing and it's sort of crushing its ribs uh, at the same time. Um, you are... Um, ent it's entirely up to you what you would like to do. Uh, the fight is somewhat going from the drake. Like, it's not dead and it's not angry, but it's not um, it's not chilling. It's still quite angry, um, but you, you, you sense that the fight is going the way of the displacer beast. Yes, I'm going to attack the Displacer Beast. Wise. Uh, how would you like this to look? Um, <coughs> well, basically, it's gnawing on my hand, but I've got the axe free, right? Yeah. Oh, you can you can yank your hand free. It's, it's not it's like trapped in its mouth. No, there's a thing with them. Um, if you get bitten by a dog, you should give it the, your forearm and then grab it by the back of the neck. Fair enough. Uh, well, this uh, is a lizard, though. No, I know, but I'm working on the same principle. That's fair. <laughs> because I've heard that piece of advice about dangerous dogs. But, you know, I've heard absolutely no advice about what to do with being bitten by a dragon. So I'm just having to broaden out here. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it keep gnawing somewhat on my arm. Uh, and then just take a... a... In fact, what I'm, what I'm going to do is pull my arm slightly so that it... It wheeled round slightly so that I'm using the momentum from the mandrake to swing the axe into the uh, the um, panther. Sure, you're doing a little bit of lizard parkour. Yeah, or, or like horse riding, where it's like wherever you point the head, that's where it's going to wheel around to, and then <laughs> sure. just wallop. Okay, uh, make an attack roll, please. However, you are making this attack roll at disadvantage. That's fine. Because as you as you start looking at the displacer beast, you realise you can't quite focus on it. 
Fine. Like it looks, as you look at it, you realise it's 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 there. Yeah. Okay. But it looks like it's there or there. Okay. Um, I don't. Think, <coughs> I don't think this bad boy has ever fought an alcoholic before. <laughs> 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 Unlucky, Panther. Uh, at disadvantage, I managed to get up to a 17. Great. Um, good news. That that hits the displacer beast. Please roll your damage. As you you instinctively know which of the double vision... Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, which of the double vision hallucinations is the real one. Um, so I got six. I get plus two for the rage. Is that right? You do. So that's no, eight. not to the attack roll. Hang on, wait, I can't remember. Um, let me double check. Uh, oh. uh, features. Come on, rage. Uh, nope. You don't get the plus two to the attack roll. You do get it to the damage roll. Yeah, this is the damage. And you've already hit. This sorry. is the damage yeah, sorry. roll. I'm very tired. It's fine. So <laughs> I think that's eight. Right. And are you looking at the um, rage rules in front of you? Yeah. It says bonus damage roll when a melee weapon attack is made. Where are you looking? Well, I'm As looking... a bonus action, enter rage for one minute, gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws, two plus two melee, stre plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Um... I don't see bonus roll. No? No. Well, I don't know where I've written that down from then. Fair enough. Let's have a look at that in the break. Fine, it's fine. No. Uh, but look, that's an eight. An eight. Lovely stuff. Plus one d4 because of your armour. Yes. Although, I'm not actually using the armour, but I'm using the armour. In fact, can I use the d4 to... Um... But you're still... I would say the armour is going to affect the drake. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, boom, four. Really? <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, okay, and eight damage to the Displacer Beast. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, so you swing the axe around and sm you don't hit it with a blade, you smack it across the face. And it looks genuine, like, if to the extent that a cat can, uh, surprised and disgusted um, that you've hit it. Yeah. Like, and what is it? It's got, like, we it's got uncomfortably glowing yellow eyes that look almost crystalline. Uh, the tentacles have, like, sort of, you like, um, the way octopus, yeah, you squid have those two tentacles with the flat bit. Yeah, there's barbs sticking out of them. They're whipping around now. It drops the drake, um, which is a mistake. Oh, thank you, one, two, three, success. Uh, because the drake whips around and manages to hit it. Oh, great, good work, drake. Um, the drake hits it with its tail and with a bite for 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Um, oh, come on. Um, with a thunderous crack of its tail, like a like a massive meat whip, uh, this thing smacks the thing across the ch across the chest. It, the, it bites it first, so it rakes its beak down its side, and then smacks it just across the clearing a little bit with its tail. And the, it doesn't lose. It kind of like it skids like in a good anime. Um, so <laughs> dust, <laughs> dust billowing up from its feet. Its 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 uh, tentacles flailing around. Um, uh, sends one of them flying at you and one of them flying at the um, the drake. What's your armour class? 14. 14, that's a hit I'm afraid. Um, for you and for the drake. Um, oh, not great damage for the drake and for you. Uh, six. Ten. Ten damage. Um, Wait, oh, of which you take five. Yeah, baby. Uh, <clears throat> so this tentacle whips across you, uh, and this is, it's the barbed bit digging into your flesh and tearing through it, but your flesh is just tough, I guess. At which point, the displacer beast Long beard, mate, long beard. Good luck getting through that little lot. That's it, like just bits of <laughs> random errant bits of hair are now flying in the air, but most your beard has absorbed most of the damage. Like a well placed like a well placed hip flask in a in a breast pocket in a detective story. <clears throat> um the this place of beast snarls at you and this leaps into the tree line, uh leaving a, a trail of sort of weirdly iridescent purple blood uh behind it. Uh and behind you you see the Drake you hear the Drake growl and wheel round and look at you, hatred in its eyes. It is your turn. 
Do you reckon in the commotion I've got time to reach into my bag? Um, or not really, because it's still a fight. I would say, probably not, because it's a still a fight, and b you are psychopathically raging currently. So it's oh not like, yeah, of course. It's not a great oh. time to do filing. No, I know, but I've I've got something in my bag that I want to stick on it and set fire to. But don't worry about it. I'm just gonna obviously I'm just gonna keep smashing at it, man. Uh, very well. Um, make your attack roll, please. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's twenty-two. Lovely stuff. Um, make your damage roll, and yeah. as you as you vault upwards, briefly silhouetted against the moon, axe raised high. <laughs> Yeah. B bloody froth spewing from your mouth. Uh, I'm going to use my savage attack to re-roll the damage. Feel free. That is six. Are you kidding? No. Six, seven, eight. It's got five hit points left. Um, so you bring your axe down on its neck, severing it uh, in one clean, uh, one clean chop. Blood juts just all over the place. Like, blood is jetting out of this thing's neck. Uh, you bathe in it. Drop to your knees. Adagio for strings begins to play as you scream, <laughs> you scream your rage at the moon. Um, my, my scream, which becomes laughter, which becomes crying, which becomes <laughs> laughter again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and now then we fade out of this scene. <laughs> we fade back up to you, like... Some time later, it's not clear how much time has passed. Um, it's still night. You look down. You're looking down at the cliff, at a bloodied ru the bloody ruins of a cage, where you see somebody has painted in what appears to be Hardcastle's blood all over the floor. <laughs> the following message. Oh, um, it was uh, <laughs> your Mister Ruff gone so in much. for sl sleep. I think it was gone, gone in near. Oh, yeah. Gone in open mouth for sleep. <laughs> yes. The tremendously <laughs> helpful message. Gone in open mouth for sleep. Um, <laughs> and we then, that fade, you, we just cut to a, a, a close-up shot of your face going... Um, <laughs> then um, we're presumably just having like a monto sequence of you trudging back up the hill uh, to the, the abandoned Knoll campsite. Where there's like there's still one there's there's a cage which had an owlbear in it that was broken open. <clears throat> oh, there was also a PS kiss on that message. Oh yeah. The chat is, the <laughs> chat is very. David Gray was very on it. It was yeah. gone in and gone heaven's in sake, snooze in open mouth. And Blythe, a lot of the a lot of the key players in the chat are very much focused on the kissing. <laughs> this is why George R. R. Martin has people write his books. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we see you in the abandoned old campsite. There's a, a, an empty cage that once contained an owl bear. Um, there's a, 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 a dead campfire. There's a, a wounded boar in a cage, and the the, the, the wreckage of the that Claire's cage had left. Um, uh, then presumably, we just see you making your way back, trudging across the bridge that you guys ignored last time, uh, back to town, and then we will see you. Um, just trudging up to the town gate, drenched in blood. Um, unless, wait, did you want to do anything with the boar? I'd like to. I'd like to take it to the stable and have it trained as a mount. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. Okay, so we then just cut to a long shot of the road outside of town and a couple of guards on duty uh, in the, the sort of morning mist. Uh, they just look up and see an absolutely just blood drenched man covered in spikes and bits of meat, pull, pulling a limping massive pig behind him, and it is in, in his right hand on like a little lead, and in his left hand is just the, the head of a small dragon, um, just like its beak ploughing a little furrow in the road. Uh, they don't say anything. He just walks past them. Like, All right. <laughs> um, just walks past them into town as 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 Raven's home is waking up. Um, he arrives at the theatre. Um, uh, just as you get outside the theatre, you've watched uh, you've watched a figure enter the theatre. You can hear an amount of goblins screaming from inside, and you just hear a woman shouting, "Where the fuck is my book?" <laughs> as you enter, as you enter the theatre with a pig. And dragging a um, <laughs> dragging a, a dragon's head. Um, at which point, 
Hurrah! You're alive! You made it! There you go! Uh, the tale of the rough knights just fighting in the woods and getting absolutely leathered, but is still emerging victorious and in the company of a pig, whose name I cannot wait to come up in the show. We'll pick up with part two next time when the rest of the cast folds back in, and we'll see you then. Please like and subscribe if you haven't had a chance to already. Haven't had a chance to? Who's stopping you? Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>